Hi there, and welcome to this video. This is Mary Redfield here with you in my first video for the new year. I have Becca with me too. So she's going to be here with me, probably most of the video maybe. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm excited about doing this video and just sharing some things that's been on my mind and some verses uh, that's been at least spoken to me uh, lately. Verses that really just hit. You know, and I'm just like, wow, look at this verse. Look what it says, you know, look what, you know, that what, what it should say to us, you know, as Christians, as believers, what these verses should be saying and how it should be affecting us and how we should be responding uh, to these verses and just, you know, God's scripture in general and especially stop, stop, with it being the last days and, and stuff and how much more, you know, diligent, diligent we are to be uh, in God's word and spreading his word and making him known. So, so um yeah, so I'm going to be talking about those verses and just uh, kind of just talking about what um, I'm up to so far in uh, the new year. And it is flying by already the 11th of January. So it's crazy. I had thought to want to do one sooner, but it was just hard. And then I don't always, you know, feel like I have enough in my mind or enough to share. I feel like I just, oh, I can't do a video. I, I can't. I'll just put it off. But one thing I've really noticed is that um, when you... <laughs> When you start a video, it just really comes to you. So encouragement to you if you're, you know, been doing videos, but you it, you have a hard time too and just uh, knowing what to say. Uh, just usually when I do it, it just comes to me. It really does. Or if you've never started a channel and you want to, I would encourage you to. If you're afraid about it and you feel like God's put that on your heart, just do it. Step out and he will give you, um, it'll come to you when you start. Um, he'll give you things to say. In my uh, last video I just did, I had... Um, read a couple of verses in 2 Timothy uh, chapter 2 and then talked about how we're to be uh, vessels, you know, for God's use, our homes and uh, our, our personally. And I'm, and I'm just going to read that scripture again um, about that that I really liked. Um, it's just because that kind of stood out to me. And so I just thought I would read that again. Uh, 2 Timothy 2, 21 through 20 through 21, but in a great house there are not only vessels of gold and silver, but also of wood and of earth, and some to honor, some to dishonor. The man therefore purge himself of these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified to meat for the master's use, and prepared unto every good work. And so just how we're, we need to make sure we purge ourselves of all these things that's not of God, so we can be, um, you know, made, re refined and made for the master's use, and for every good work that he has for us, um, um, boy, just how important that is is, is is Christians. And a couple of the verses um, that, that stood out to me late after that one that I really, really liked. I might have kind of shared it on the end of the other one. I'm not sure. Um, we were reading, um, as a family, we were reading through the Gospels, and we were in John, and now we were into Acts. But um, when we were reading the one, uh, John 9, uh, 4 through 5, just really stood out to me. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. As long as I'm in the world, I am the light of the world. So it was about Jesus saying that of himself, the work that he had to do. And he's like, I must work the works of him that sent me, of his father, works of him, of his father, um, while it was still day, that night cometh when no man can work. It's, you know, because he had a short amount of time on the earth. And, and um, you know, as long as I'm in the world, I'm the light of the world. And I thought, you know, how much that should be for us too that we need to be about always, you know, feeling that I must work the work of him that sent me while we still have time on earth. And as long as we are in the world, we are the light of the world. We are supposed to be the light of the world. He is the ultimate light, but we, each one of us are lights of the world as well. And um, I just like, I love that verse. I'm just like, okay, you kids, guess what? You know, each one of you, you know, you can say this for yourself. I must work the works of him that sent me. Well, there's still day. Well, I still have time. I must work the works of him that sent me. It should be our heart's cry, our, mo you know, our motive in life that drives us um, every day and everything that we do. And I just really like that. Um, kind of for this year, I think last year, no, yeah, the last one, a video I was talking about, kind of words um, of the year that I had for 2020 and 2021. Um, and this one, it, it's not like a, you know, something super spiritual and something that really God gave me, but just something I was thinking about what would be, you know, something for this year. Uh, for 2022 and I just was for myself. I'm just thinking something new. That's that's what I really want to focus on something new like new ideas um, For ministry and outreach how we can do that as a family more and just um, New ways really to make 
him, you know, more real in everyday lives. And, and um, the verse that I have to go with that is in Isaiah 43, 18 through 19. So, um, it was January 2nd. I shared this verse and I shared um, a little bit to go with it on um, Instagram, on Facebook and stuff. And I shared uh, this and I was like encouraging people, you know, it's a new year. Um, let's think of new ways uh, to be uh, an outreach uh, and a light to the world. So I'll read those as soon as I read this verse. Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth, ye shall know it. I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Isaiah 43, 18 through 19. So it's not necessarily, you know, talking about well, now. I mean, it was, I guess, something from back then, but see, you know, remember not the former things, especially now, you know, with the COVID has changed everything and with the, the vaccine and everything, and we can want it back to normal, right? And I thought this verse really does seem to be very fitting. Remember not those former things the way it used to be. Behold, I will do a new thing. God is doing a new thing. Even all of this, um, you know, crazy stuff that looks like it's, you know, dampening things that we want to be doing, you know, so she ministry or traveling and this and that, uh, and it's kind of putting a damper on it. Um, but in ways, you know, it's really not right. Um, God is in control of that and he is doing a new thing he's ever doing. seems like a new thing these last couple of years. And I, when we know, um, growing, going near the end, the closer we get to end, I mean, there's going to be a lot of new things, different things happening as it gets closer to the Lord coming back. And so I thought, well, this year, you know, I want to be as about as much as I can seeking, um, looking for new things, new things, um, that we can be doing and just knowing, yeah, that God is, um, I think always doing new, new things. I mean, he's always the same, right? Um, um, but as time goes on, you know, um, just that, you know, though things are, you know, of old and I think there's, um, there's new ways of, of evangelism and, and that he wants us to be ever looking for expanding, um, things spending the way we've been doing right and looking for um new new ways right and ideas and i wrote here when i shared this as a new year maybe may we look forward to all the new things this year will hold looking for new opportunities and new ideas for evangelism and outreach be open to new things god has for you to do or places he wants you to go he just needs eager servants obedient believers and devoted followers that's what God is looking for those that he can use vessels for his use those that are eager to get you know to do for him and to evangelize well there's still day well there well this world is still turning well there's still time uh, that's what he's needing and that we are the light of the world while we are here so we have a great work to do some of the new things that um, I've been thinking um, that we can do is that uh, as our family. I know I mentioned that one. I really, really wanted to go on a mission trip together as a family. We talked about um, possibly going, being able to go down to Baja, uh, California, because I have a connection down there. I know someone that's um, as a missionary family down there, and she makes it sound like it'd be really exciting to experience to get to go do this as a family. I'd really like to, but um, I don't know. That's you know, it's way off, right? It's hard like to take whole family down there. Well, of course, we always got things happening doing here, and to totally take you know, a week to 10 days and to, to make this trip down there. I just, my, my husband's not all over that. So unfortunately, but I'd love to, um, you know, so I'm just trying to come up with ideas just around here. Then if we can't take that, that trip, right. Um, but I'm wanting to include the family and I've got some things going myself that I will mention that, um, but oh, me and the kids are thinking to go into like nursing homes and retirement centers and sing some Bible songs. Um, with them, the little children's Bible songs. I mean, um, like the ones Jesus loves me. This little light of mine. I've um, got a love like an ocean. He's got the whole world in his hands. The B I B L E. Uh, his banner over me is love. And all these, I just love those little songs. Um, and I know some of my children, the older ones, are like, oh, those are little kitty songs. And I'm like, yeah, but they're precious songs, right? They've got a message, and I think they would enjoy it. And I've contacted a few places already, and they have, you know, said that they, yeah, the, the residents should enjoy that. And so, in between the songs, as we sing them, um, I have some scriptures that really go with some of those. Um, 
I've looked them up that really go with different of those songs. And then I'm going to share those verses in between is my idea. So I don't know if it's going to just flow as I want. And I'm sure there will be things that I'll have to, just a minute, well, I, you know, expect to go wrong. There's always that, right? You know, we're going to have our, play it, the song through our phone, through a uh, speaker, what we're going to carry. There's always techie things, you know, that can go wrong. And, and then the kids, I mean, can you expect them all just to be there nice and do all their actions? I thought, you know what, we're all going to be doing different actions, at, you know. We're not all going to be doing the same actions at the same time. Probably not, but we're going to try our best. And I would encourage, you know, if that's something that you feel, you know, and all of you guys can sing um, some songs. And we're going to follow along with, like, it's going to play on the phone. And we're just going to follow along. So it's not just our voices. We're going to mingle our voices in. And I think, you know, that should be nice. And hopefully we'll enjoy it and enjoy my children being there. I'll bring all of the ones uh, 14 and under. So there will be... Um, be six of us and seven children I think no no and so we're all gonna we're gonna do the actions and sing I'll be huh seven. you're about to be five yeah. yeah I mean all the children that we have so um that's something I'm looking into um right away through um kind of lining up times when we can go and do that and then for myself I'm gonna be um part of um, a prison ministry, uh, not going into the prisons. I would love that. I, I think I really would. I'm, I want opportunities to be able to do that. I can just imagine, you know, getting to go in and giving hope. And sometimes you feel like, what do you have to give to people in prison if you've never been there, if you've never walked in their shoes? And I haven't. I, I really haven't. But, um, but just to be able to give them hope and, and, and give them, uh, um, wow, just that, to be there and to say, I care, you know, and just to show when you, you're there, you know, they, they know that people care for them. And I have walked a road of, you know, sorry, with sorrow and grief of losing our son, 14-year-old um, son. And so I definitely know that, you know, and I and I um, can, you know, just give what what I got from God. And so I'd, I'd love an opportunity to actually do that. But this is not called Outside Prison Ministry. Um, it's for women that I mean, has been in or or have loved ones that's incarcerated and so in in prison and so we, um they're going to be putting on a retreat for them and so we're going to be going to five days of training and um over the next couple months and then there's a retreat they're going to put on in april and i'll get you all be a part of that and to love on and give hope and give encouragement uh to these women so i'm really excited about that to be able to do that and then there's um so a, a women's home here um near us too in the community that I am going to be able to maybe go speak and, and share it too and just give home with an encouragement and the message that God has given me and I, I look forward to doing that. So that's going to be new. That's new and yeah, definitely I'm still, you know, hoping, holding on to hope and praying that we can go um, and do a mission trip as a family because I think it would be really good just to have the whole family experience a different culture and um, a different setting and to have that heart to be able to Go and, you know, to have to care enough to put ourselves out to do that. Because sure, it's not going to be the easiest thing to do. You know, was it supposed to be easy? No. It's, you know, you're going to have, we have our heart to to bring the gospel, you know, onto the nations and just to be the witness that God intended us. It's the purpose we're here for, right? To know him and make him known. And and so, yeah, this year I'm really looking for new things, new, new, new opportunities. I just listened to... um a really good message that I really liked. It was um, something by David uh, Platt. And he actually was um, speaking at the uh, Passion Conference, um, Passion Conference 2022. So if you've, um, you know, if you've heard of that, he, he had a message. I'll put, put a, um, a link to that video in here. Uh, but I wrote something down from there that David Platt said. Um, he said, um, uh, the ultimate purpose of God is his glory is his glory enjoyed and exalted among all nations. So that being God's purpose and the ultimate purpose of every Christian is to enjoy and exalt God's glory among all nations. And God's plan for that, for that, for the accomplishment of this purpose is the great commission. And then he said, the great commission is not a general commandment to make disciples among many people, as many people as possible, but the Great Commission is a specific command to make disciples among all nations. So just um, like I, you know, said, just to have the, you have that heart, right? If if that's God's purpose, if His purpose, His ultimate purpose, um, if God's was His glory to be enjoyed and exalted among all nations, then that has to be our purpose. If we are serving God, we say, you know, we love God, right? It's it's quite a loaded thing, and it. Um, 
Wow. Yeah. It's, and, and I just really liked how he, how, how he put that. And um, we need to get our focus back, you know, and get what is our, our, our purpose. And sometimes we can be chasing after things and doing things that just gets a little off course, right? So it's a new year. You know, here's something you can you can check out. Are, are is your family on course? Do you feel like you are filling that that purpose and that calling? Purpose, the reason that Jesus came and died on the cross for. You know, it wasn't just to save us and we go um, coast through life until um, waiting for heaven. You know, but we've got a purpose, a plan. You know, something to work out. Um, and it's not just you know we don't do it for a, for ourselves. I mean, for God because we love God, right? And He's created us for that. He's that's the reason we're here for is to know him and to make him known. So I'd really encourage you that uh, for this new year. Um, I really like um, something else. And he, uh, after you shared that kind of two conclusions, he said, if we are not living and dying to make disciples of all nations, then we are ignoring the purpose of God and missing the purpose of our lives. Wow. Wow. This is of God's grace. You have a unique and significant part to play in seeing all of the nations enjoy and exalt God. So we've all got a role to play. None of us is exempt. None of us. And you just been in our, as moms, you know, you're in your home and you're raising your children for God. So that you're, you, we're doing it right. And then as we, 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 um, help our children to kind of go beyond our doorstep, like I'm saying, we're, if we're, you know, as we're going to go into nursing homes, whatever it is that you do, you know, you're, you're bringing it beyond your doorstep or you're inviting people into your home. You're, you're really possibility, hospita hospitality is your big thing. It's not really for me, but to have people in your home a lot. And then you're, you know, having opportunities to share Sure, that way, or however a person does it for moms, but yeah, as a family, as raising kids to do that, to want to have a heart to go and tell the world, to have a heart for these lost. Oh, he had said there's over 3 billion people that is considered unreached. 3 billion people that that um, still have not had the opportunity to hear. So boy, should we be burdened. Boy, should we have, you know, and letting our children know that you've got a work to do. You've got a work to do. It's It's beyond just, you know, our, our, our place, our house, our, you know, our territory. You've got to work to do before the Lord comes. Um, like back to my verse, it says, uh, Jesus said, I must work the works of him that sent me while it is still day. The night cometh when no man can work. As long as I'm in the world, I am the light of the world. As long as we are in the world, we are a light of the world. And we better be shining. It's bright for God. So, um, well, I think <laughs> that up, I, um, Hope you see my, my passion. I mean, it's like, that's our purpose, right? And I hope that we get it. I hope that each one of us is getting it and not just um, doing whatever. Not You know, we got to be filling ourselves up too. So that is real. That's our duty, right? Because um, make sure that we're filling ourselves up with the word of God. Because if we don't have it in us, we can't share. If it's not in here, if we're not bringing, putting Bible verses to memory, we can't share nothing that's not, you know, that we can't be like, oh yeah, that verse, you know, it says, you know. Or comfort somebody with a verse, or um, give you give them some hope and encouragement. Or we can't do it if we don't have it in us. So we need to very much be in the Word. So uh, this year, if that's a new thing, to, you know, for you if you haven't been in the Bible a lot, we encourage you to make sure you're setting aside time for yourself to get in the Word. Uh, I like to leave my Bible just kind of sitting open or just there on um, like a TV stand by the couch where I sit. It's just sitting there, and a lot of times it's just laying open for the lot from the last place we read. And then I can come and just sit in there and scan over some verses. And I have a whole bunch of verses marked. So when I have time, I'll sit down. I look through. Oh, yeah, here's some verses that are marked. I'm going to read these again. Uh, oh, here's some more verses that I've marked. I'll read these again. It's just keep putting them up here. It's just like bringing them to mind. And so then when I talk with the kids, I can recall verse and recall verse and recall a verse, you know. And um, it's just so great to be able to do that. Um, then, you know, then I can witness to my kids if I know these verses. And, and so it's so important. So make sure you have... Your Bible handy so you can sit there and, and 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 read on it. And if you need to get other books that are more enticing or something than the Bible, like I'm not talking about the good um, devotions or good books that are you know because I read a lot of really lot of good books and so um, those are important too. Like in fact, David Platt, the one that I was talking about, he wrote this book Radical that I really like and I would recommend his book Radical. So I've read a lot of books like that, but. Otherwise, I guess I'm seeing more of the fiction books and just books that are, you know, not not leading you to Christ. There's not a message. It's not, um, it's just a fictional, you know, science fiction, drama, who knows what. Um, make sure those are not 
Mm-hmm. Not, I don't have those in my house, yeah. but make sure you don't have them handy. Yeah. Um, otherwise, you might um, go towards those instead of your Bible and, and stuff. And you'll have, they're handy uh, to read and, and then read to the family. We read to the family every evening together. We've started from the Old Testament, and I regret saying that it took us, I think, two years we've been reading, and we're, we're finally up to Acts now. But um, we try to, that we've been reading faithfully, you know, a chapter every night. So we, that's why I guess it's slow. It's not that we haven't read, but sometimes there, we've had to skip a night or so, right? We, we've had to, but um, we read otherwise every night. And it's just so good. We read and we can discuss. I try to keep them longer discussed. What happens sometimes they end up close in the Bible and their minds are like everywhere going, jumping off the couch, running. Uh, but but still, while we're reading, we're, we'll pause and talk about something once in a while. We do, we do that. And uh, it's just, you know, it's very important. It's so good. Because um, we read, especially reading through the four Gospels. So Because you hear the story of Jesus, you know, one, and then the story again, and the story again, and the story again. And it's like getting up here, getting up here, getting up here, right? So that was really good. Okay, I better wrap this up. I think it's way too long already, and um, I hope I hope you liked it. I am, and just keep strong in the word, and uh, keep attuned to the times we're living in, and encourage others to stay attuned that we're getting closer to the end, and we have a work to do while we're still in the world. We've got to shine our lights. We have a great work, and think of new things to do this year. Think of new ministry opportunities and outreach, uh, especially with your children. Include your children. Bye. It's very important. <sighs> Bye. Watch out for my new videos coming soon.